So we want to use find and replace now to find words and replace it with others, but we're not sure of all the characters within those words. How do we do this? Well, let's go and see. If I go to the home tab and I go to replace, I get find and replace, which we are used to. Okay, so what do I want to find? Let's say I want to find a word that starts with G-A-S. I'm not sure what the other letters are, but I know it should end with N-E. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to make use of what's known as a wild card. So these wildcard characters will basically fill in the gaps. And when I use a star, what's going to happen is it's going to try and find however many characters need to be in between these letters. So when I click on find next, it says no results found. But why is that? Because when I click on more, I need to put a tick in use wildcards. Now, when I click find next, do you see what happened there? It found the word gasoline. I know the word starts with G-A-S and ends with N-E, but I wasn't sure what the letters are in between. Now, if I've got a word, for example, like car, and it's just one character, then I use my question mark because that's going to look for one character. It's going to look for a word that has one character missing in the middle of C and R. Again, I've got to put the tick in wild cards. I'm going to go find next, and there you see it highlights car. But this is how we can use wild cards um, in order for us to find specific words, especially when we are not sure of what that entire word actually is.